This is Kayla and Bruce from 9CI. Uh, we are doing a video on grounding sheets. Okay, so uh, this particular sheet, um, I don't know if you can see it, I'll show you a picture. Uh, it contains a fine fesh, a mesh of silver wiring uh, that is conductive and uh, its purpose is to lower your body voltage. So uh, we're doing an experiment using um, a voltmeter and uh, in various situations. So first thing, it comes with a ground tester, uh, a circuit tester. Right. Um, and this is just to make sure before you plug it in that the circuit you're plugging it into has been wired properly. You really don't want to put something into ground and then sit on it if it's wired to the electrical system. Right, so this just sure. checks with three lights. There's a little legend on there. Kayla can show you on the video. Mm -hmm. You want to make sure that you've got a properly wired outlet that the ground pin, the ground plug is goes, in fact, to ground. goes to ground. So that's very important. Mm. And it's pretty hard to plug this thing in to not ground. It won't right. fit, it's, so it's, thank it, God for that. Right, it's a, it's a, round, uh, it's a round banana plug. So mm -hmm. it's, it's meant to plug into just the, you know, so the other yeah. thing is you want to have a, a fairly low E-field environment uh, when you're doing this. Um, right now, this, is, this, this environment here in this room is very high. Uh, <laughs> the NFA 1000 is showing about 40 volts per meter uh, right there. E-fields are measured normally being away from the meter. That's very <laughs> high, but that makes the point here, just so that you can show clearly what happens when you're uh, ungrounded and and grounded mm -hmm. but obviously the first thing to do is to lower your e-field environment so turn off any circuits that are necessary to get that reading as low as possible mm -hmm. the grounding sheet then can be used after your e-fields are very low that you can uh, fully ground yourself um, uh, to, to ground potential mm -hmm. and have no current flowing through your body like an antenna like you don't want to be acting like an antenna so in this case, us grounding ourselves here is not ideal because the E-fields from the walls are very high and that current's just gonna flow through you mm -hmm. to, the, to the conductive bed sheet. You don't want that, right? Yeah. Uh, so first things first, um, regular let's, body voltage. Yeah, let's measure the body voltage. Okay. So uh, uh, this is a body voltage meter. Kayla is picking up the, uh, um, the, uh, the hand probe mm -hmm. and uh, it's going through the meter measuring uh, AC volts and we're at uh, three, three yeah 3.18 3.19 volts something like that and if I if I do the same for myself uh, I'm a little lower but um, if I notice uh, I have to hold it I think yeah yeah so if I get closer three, to the wall six. I go to yeah. three six but then I move away from the wall I'm at 3.0 okay mm -hmm. so now um, I'll get Kayla to hold the uh, the uh, uh, the hand probe, yeah. and now, um, provided she's touching some of the sheets, like there's some... A fair, sur fair surface fair helps surface. more. Okay, so now I plug in the this thing, and now look at her body voltage has dropped to about 83, 70, 66 millivolts. Yeah, okay, so like 0.05. Yeah, so very, very much lower. And again, so watch it jump up. She's at, uh, okay, about 92. I unplug, now she's back up to 2,630 millivolts or mm -hmm. 2.6 volts. So significant difference. So um, bed sheets are great. There's usually some part of your body, even in the winter time with PJs on or something like that, you've got your hands and your feet are gonna touch. But ideally, um, you know, the more skin surface area, um, because our bodies are conductive, um, we can do a, you know, a simple experiment, for example. Um, yeah, to make a point about um, how our bodies are conductive, I'm connected to ground right now, and um, Kayla is not connected to ground. Mm -hmm. She's got a body voltage of two volts, and now we hold hands, and now our body voltages have dropped down to 0.29, something like that. Yeah. So bodies are conductive, and uh, we both happen to have very high iron content in our blood, which makes us even extra conductive. conductive. Yeah. So uh, thanks for sticking with us. Hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget to leave some comments below and you can subscribe to us on BitChute and Library as well.